Hey everyone, it's Haley, and welcome to the biggest unhaul that I have ever done. So I did an unhaul recently. I'm not sure like how soon afterwards this one will be going up, but because I'm moving, it is like crunch time to just be brutal and get rid of as many books as I can. So here I have four bins of this size filled with books that were at my parents house which you guys if you watch my videos might know that I referenced that I have some books at my parents house still. I have gone through them in the past and this is like the time to really go through them because as I was looking because you can like see inside I was like do I really want to keep some of these and that's what we're going to be doing today. So similarly to my last unhaul I'm going to be like actively doing it. It's not like I already know what I'm unhauling. I'm going to be going through these bins and seeing what I really want to keep, what is worth lugging with me to Quebec. And if it's not, it's gonna go. So yeah, I'm feeling everything's gonna be brutal today. I just got my COVID vaccine yesterday, so my arm hurts. So this probably isn't like the best time to be doing it, but I wanna get it done. I don't even know where to begin. Like I hardly know what's in these bins. There's just so much happening, to be honest. I guess I'll start out with this one. I think this one is mostly books that I have read, so I don't know. Oh my goodness, okay, this is going to be brutal. So this is actually my sister's, this first book here, The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. This is my oldest sister's book, so definitely not getting rid of that one. I will have to give it to her again. <laughs> I seriously don't even know where to begin. All right, well, Exit Pursued by Bear by E.K. Johnston. This is a Shakespeare retelling and it is like cheerleading based. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one though. It's a retelling of The Winter's Tale actually, but I'm going to get rid of this one because I entirely forgot that I had read it to be honest. And like, I think I liked it, but I didn't love it. Next, I have a duplicate copy of The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. So I picked up this anniversary edition, but I already have a signed copy of it. So I don't really need like that would be four copies of it. I know I say that like I don't have a million copies of Alice in Wonderland, but these ones are like pretty much the same. So that is kind of a different situation. Next, I have the Fairy Loot UK edition of Caraval by Stephanie Garber. And this one I think I'm going to get rid of. I don't need two copies of that one either. Next one, I'm really not sure about this one, but the other books must be in here somewhere. But the, what's it called? The Heroes of Olympus series by, what is, what is his name? Rick Riordan. I don't know why I wanted to say Percy Jackson. Like I wanted to say that the books were by Percy Jackson, but I think I'll actually keep these. Like I did enjoy them. I don't really love them, but I did have a good time reading them. And I think it is a series that I would still like to own. So I think for now I will be keeping these. Next is Speak by Lori House Anderson. I actually really enjoyed this book. I don't remember putting it in here at all, but I'm definitely going to keep this one. Then we have Curtsies and Conspiracies by Gail Carriger. I'm going to get rid of this one. I think I'll keep the first book to that series maybe, but I'm gonna get rid of that sequel. Next, The Son of Neptune. That's going to be a keep because that's part of the Heroes of Olympus series. Then I have a duplicate copy of The Hate You Give. So this one is going to go to a new home. Next is Cruel Beauty by Rosemond Hodge. This book was okay. It's a Beauty of the Beast retelling, but I didn't really love it. I think most of the reason why I wanted to keep this one is because the cover is gorgeous, but I don't think that's a good enough reason to lug it 10 hours away. Next is And We're Off by Dana Schwartz. So this was a travel story. Obviously it has not fared well in this box. Oopsies, but this one, I don't really remember. Oh yeah, it's she goes with her mother. But this one was just okay, so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Next is Words in the Deep Blue by Kath Crowley. I really wasn't a fan of this book, but once again, I think it's one that I kind of kept because of the cover, so I will be getting rid of that one. And then They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera made its way in here somehow. I don't really remember what my thought process was for putting some of these books in here, but this is definitely one that I'm actually going to keep as well. And then Divergent must be somewhere in here, I would think, but I have Allegiant and Insurgent, whoopsies. And I do want to keep this series, like, even just for the nostalgia of it, I definitely want to keep that one. Similarly, I have all, I'm not going to pick these all up at once, but I have my entire Mortal Instruments series. And these, I remember, I just didn't have like a ton of room on my shelves and that's why I took them off. But it is a series that I would like to keep on my shelves. So I will be bringing all of these with me. So 
there's a lot of them. Next is Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabrielle Savit. This is a World War II historical fiction and I did enjoy it but I don't think it's one that I want to hang on to. Reboot by Amy Tintera. I actually really enjoyed this story. It's like a zombie sort of story but it's like different kinds of zombies because I don't really like zombies generally but I did have a fun time with this one so this one I think I will actually hang on to. Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. I'm actually going to keep this one too because I did enjoy that one a lot. Then we have There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This I also want to hang on to. I don't like it's kind of hard to me for me to describe why I want to hang on to certain books but I'm trying my best. Next is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. This mm, I don't I don't know about this one. This one I think I'm going to have as a maybe. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. So now I need to make a new maybe pile. Next is Ink by Amanda Sun. I actually really enjoyed this story. It's set in Japan and it is like just very inventive. So I think this is one that I definitely want to hang on to. Be Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I didn't really love the book, so I don't know. It doesn't make sense for me to keep it. Next is Blood Water Paint by Joy McCulley. This one I'm also going to get rid of, although I did really enjoy this one. I just, I think that, I don't know. I just don't want to hang on to it. <laughs> Next is Ever the Hunted by Erin Summerill. I totally forgot about this book to be honest, but this one is going to go as well because obviously like I forgot about it. I don't need to hang on to it. And then My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Morga. I actually really enjoyed this book and totally forgot that I had it. So this is another one that I am going to keep, but it's just sometimes like I really enjoy these books, but I just don't have the room on my shelves. And that's why they end up in a bin where I end up forgetting about them. But next is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This is another one that's kind of like that, but I don't, I don't know if I want to hang on to this one. I, this one will be a maybe as well. I will return to it and think about it. Next is The Walled City by Ryan Groudon. Definitely want to keep this one. So I didn't enjoy this as much as Wolf by Wolf, but it was still really cool. Next is Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. This is like such an interesting and inventive story. Very different. And I do think I kind of want to hang on to that one. I'm not entirely sure, but it's going in the keep pile. Next is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I enjoyed this, but like, not as much as everyone else so I think I'm actually going to let that one go just because I don't think it's one that I need to hang on to. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld I actually thought this was very interesting so I am going to hang on to this one and Girls Made of Snow, Snow and Glass by Melissa Boscherdoust. This one I think I'm this one's gonna go on maybe I really can't make a decision on that one right now. Okay so that is this first bin. I'm going to put the keeps in here and then move on to the next bin. So that's half a bin that I've decided to get rid of. Yay! So now moving on to this next bin here. So bin number two, we have, I think this is a mix of books that I have read and books that I haven't. So I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman. I have read and I did like it, but I don't think that I liked it enough to hang on to it. So that will be another go. And then the Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding. I actually do really want to keep this one because I've been dying to read it at one Halloween and I just haven't done it yet. But definitely, like, I need to do that eventually. So I'll hang on to that one. Then The Tenth Girl by Sarah Faring. This one I'm going to let go. It's like a horror story. I just, I don't think I'll ever realistically read it. And then we have Tarnish by Katherine Longshore. I'm actually going to hang on to this one. This is a Tudor era romance. Anne Boleyn is the one that it follows because there's three of them, so I couldn't tell, but I have the other two, so why not keep this one too? Next is The Everlasting Rose by Danielle Clayton. So I'm pretty sure that I have the bells somewhere in here, which I definitely do want to keep and read eventually, so I'm going to hang on to the sequel as well. Next is What the Night Sings by Vesper Stamper. So this is an illustrated novel Novel, and it follows a character who has been through the Holocaust and I'm not sure if it like is afterwards it seems like yeah so it's set at a displaced person's camp so I kind of I kind of want to keep this one because I feel like there's not many books that I've read about that 
kind of time period so i'm going to see what the reviews are like maybe just since i'm on the fence and i'll put it in the maybe pile for now oh i'm so glad that i still have this actually so the reader by tracy chi definitely want to hang on to this one so this is by the author of we are not free which is my favorite book that i've read so far this year so i definitely want to read her fantasy as well this seems perfect so definitely going to keep that one next is give the dark my love by beth revis i don't even remember what this is about so it doesn't make sense for me to keep it next is the fault in our stars by john green this is a duplicate copy i have plenty of copies of this plenty of copies of this rather so i will let that one go to a new home the inexplicable logic of my life by benjamin alir sinez this is by the author of aristotle and dante and i wasn't really a fan of aristotle and dante but i did enjoy this one i enjoyed it more like i didn't love it but i enjoyed it more than aristotle and dante but i don't think that it's one that i need to keep i don't think maybe i'll put it in maybe <laughs> this is where i struggle because i literally cannot make decisions at all but next is the cruel prince by holly black this is an arc i'm going to get rid of that i don't need that like in here i have a lot of arcs that there's really no reason for me to have all of it you know i don't really need to hang on to things then i have a winter's promise by christelle de beau so this is actually a translation and this is an arc of it that i got when i went to book con for the first time and i had wanted to read this one but i just haven't done that yet but i do think that i want to read it eventually so i am going to keep this one next is an arc of bridge of clay by marcus zuzak so i was so excited to get a copy of this at book con i remember like they're literally numbered and i did not like this book at all i didn't did i finish it i don't think i even finished it i think i got like 90 percent of the way through or something and i just didn't end up finishing it so I want to keep this just because of the memories, but I also hated it. So, mm, but I kind of feel like I need to keep this one. I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to put it in the maybe. I I just have like an attachment to that one. Next is Courting Darkness by Robin Lefevers. I don't think I will ever realistically read this. I need to make a cut somewhere, so that's what we're going with. And then we have Home and Away by Candace Montgomery. I don't really remember where I got this one or anything or what it's about. Oh, it's a girl who plays football on as the only girl on her private high school's team. That's fun. I think I will actually hang on to this one because I need more contemporaries, I feel like. I go through contemporaries so quickly and then I'm just left with a bunch of fantasies. So I'm going to hang on to that one. The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I am going to keep that one. I have read it and I really liked it. So we'll keep that one. And then I have An Arc of the Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater, which I got at like a used book sale once, but like... I don't really need it so i will also get rid of that one and the bells like i mentioned by danielle clayton this is an arc but i'm pretty sure i might have a finished copy somewhere so i'll set this aside because if i don't have a finished copy then i'm going to like keep that one but if i have a finished copy then i'll keep the finished copy next is strange the dreamer by laney taylor i did not like this book but i felt the need to keep the arc but it, that doesn't really make sense so i will get rid of it my maybe pile is starting to fall into my nose or not nose but going pile <laughs> need to fix that then i have kingdom of the blazing phoenix by julie c dow this is the sequel to forest of a thousand lanterns which i really liked so i feel like maybe i will give this one a chance so i am going to keep that one next is the boneless mercies by april generally Tchulk uh this is a what is it Oh, it starts with a B, Beowulf retelling. And I don't think I will ever like truly read this one. So I'm going to let that one go. Speaking of never probably going to truly read, I have an arc of uh, Samantha Sh The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Like I would like to read this at some point, but I hate big books and like talk about a big book. Like, so I'll put this in the maybe because like I do, I don't know. Do I want, no, I'm going to put in the maybe. I'm not sure really not sure <laughs> then i have a little sampler of king of scars i don't need to keep that though realistically and mark of athena in here so that i will keep because it's one of the uh heroes of olympus books then we have etiquette and espionage and one flew over the cuckoo's nest so i think i'll keep both of those i haven't read one flew over the cuckoo's nest i've tried to but i just haven't been able to ever get through it but 
maybe at some point. <laughs> and then I have The Broken Ones by Danielle L. Jensen. I included another book from this series in my other unhaul and I did end up keeping it and I think I will hang on to that one as well just in case. Then I have Black Dove White Raven by Elizabeth Ween. This is, I mean, Elizabeth Ween is one of my favorite authors, but I would say this is like one of my least favorites by her, but I did still really like it. So I think it is one that I should hang on to. I do have Divergent in here. Okay, so Divergent by Veronica Roth I am going to keep, as well as the book that's under it, Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Really loved this one, so I am going to hang on to that one. Then I have Angel Fall by Susan E, which I also really enjoyed. This is like such a throwback, some of these from like when I first started booktube, like those first couple of years. And I feel like this is one I want to keep for that reason, but also it's really interesting and different. So I, mm, I'm, I'm gonna put in maybes for now. Next is Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. So this is the sequel to Dance of Thieves and I haven't read Dance of Thieves yet, but I really have enjoyed Mary E. Pearson's writing before, which is why I do kind of want to hang on to this one. But like I've had Dance of Thieves forever. So when am I really gonna get to it? I don't know, but maybe I should try and make it a priority. I will set this in the maybes and then go from there. Next is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. This is an ARC, so I do have a finished copy, which is why this ended up in here, but I really don't need to be like hanging on to ARCs that I have a finished copy of, unless it's something that like, I feel like there are special circumstances, but I feel like most times I don't need to do that. Next is A Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schult. I'm going to get rid of that one. I've just never really wanted to actually read it. This is kind of an epic love story by Kaysen Callender. This one I am going to get rid of because I did read, I actually unhauled my finished copy in the other video that I did. I just didn't really like this one, unfortunately, but I love Felix Ever After by Casey Calendar, so it's fine. This one just didn't work. Next is The Summer of Us by Cecilia Vaness. So this was actually a really cute, like European travel story. I had fun with it, but I don't, I don't really remember it. So I am going to let that one go. Next is Ink Mistress by Audrey, Audrey Coldhurst. I actually have a finished copy of this one. So I will also unhaul that one. And then Tyler Johnson was here by Jay Coles. This one was like really talked about and the no one was really talking about it, but I love the cover for this. And I do think that I want to read it soon. Next is Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Soria. This one also seems really intriguing to me actually. And I've read another book by this author in I liked it and then she has another book coming out this year actually that I I don't remember how I don't remember if I pre-ordered it or not but I will hang on to this one too then we have these rebel waves by Sarah Rosh I really enjoyed snow like ashes by Sarah Rosh that whole trilogy but I don't think that I am ever actually going to read this one I'm pretty sure I unhauled the finished copy that I had too so I will let the arc go as well and then we have Darius the great is not okay by Adib Karam and I think I'm actually going to hang on to this one. I've heard some really amazing things about it, so I do want to read it at some point. And then finally in here is Blanca and Roja by Anna Marie McLemore. So I've read a couple of their books and I just like, I've had mixed feelings on them, so I don't think that I really need to hang on to this one. So that is another bin. Done. Emptied final. <laughs> so now it is time to move on to this next bin. This next bin has a lot of like adult books and a lot of adult historical fiction. And it's like, I went through a phase of getting them because it was like, well, I feel like I should be reading more adult. And that's where we ended up. But I, I don't know if I'll ever like realistically actually read them. So we'll see. This is what's going to be really brutal. Okay, so first I have Anne of Green Gables by Ella Montgomery. This one I'm going to keep. This is the other Puffin Classics edition that I need, the Puffin and Pantone <laughs> edition. So I have the rest of them on my shelf over there and this one I just never brought over. So this one's definitely a keep. Actually, a lot of this bin is also classics that I just like haven't really had the room for. So I have I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. I definitely want to keep that one. Catcher in the Rye. What else do I have in here? I don't even really know. Oh, Lord of the Flies. I also want to keep Catch-22. We've got The Giver here, which I really like. We have a copy of Through the Looking Glass. This is the copy that I first read. Like it's all annotated and everything. I read this for class and I just annotated the entire thing. So I definitely want to keep that one. Fahrenheit 451 is another book that I really annotated. Like I used to have sticky notes in it, but now I took those out. But I really enjoyed that one. So I want to keep that one. And then I have A Clockwork 
dark orange as well breakfast at tiffany's i actually got this copy from the strand and i definitely want to keep it i also have night by ellie wiesel which for sure i want to keep this is one of the like most powerful and impactful books i've ever read so definitely need to hang on to that one. And then I also have 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. So I read a short story in one of my first courses in university by this author and I just loved it. And this is I think his most popular book probably but I just haven't read it but I for sure like want to get to this one soon because I think that his story is really intrigued. Me. Next is another book for class actually. I have quite a few. Oh these are all for class. Okay so this was actually for the same class. I think it was women in literature that I read these for. So I have Ariel by Sylvia Plath, which I feel like I like should keep. Yeah, you can tell that I read this for class because we've got that going on there. <laughs> but I do kind of want to keep this because I like looking at like my annotations on all of these. It's super interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of Sylvia Plath. I know like literally everyone that I went to like university with loved her stuff, but I don't know. I'm just not the biggest fan. But I think that, oh my gosh, I did so much annotating, but I think that I do want to hang on to this one because I just like looking back at the annotations and maybe one day I'll enjoy it more. And then we have Recyclopedia. This is by Harriet Mullen. This one I actually also really enjoyed and it has like a lot of poetry in here. It's just a collection of different poems. These are just like really feminist poems and I did really like them, but I don't... I don't know. I don't think I need to hang on to it. So I will let that one go with all my annotations in it, which people are going to be like, what? Because some of them are really weird. Then I have Mouse by Art Spiegelman. I love this graphic novel series. So I definitely want to keep these. They are fantastic. So we'll be hanging on to those. Then I have Let It Snow by Maureen Johnson, John Green, and Lauren Miracle. Do I have another copy of this? For some reason, I, ha I feel like I have another copy of this, but if I don't, I will hang on to this. Next, Next, I have another book that I read for class. This was for high school. I read Looking for Alaska by John Green because we were allowed to pick what we read and I annotated the crap out of this. So this is definitely one that I have to keep like just for the sheer memories of it. I also have in here my Wreck This Journal, which is all rainbow. It has like a Lululemon sticker. It is just, oh, I didn't even realize that I kept it together with a bow. My goodness. I actually had so much fun with this. This is something when I was like in the depths of my really bad mental health back in high school, I like, this is all that I really did. So I just did so much. I think I finished most of it. There's some that I didn't do, but I like, I did so much in it and I had a lot of fun with it. So obviously I'm gonna be keeping this, like definitely not going to be getting rid of it, but there's so many things. Like, my goodness, oh, so much paint and stuff. Okay, I got distracted by that for a really long time, I'm not gonna lie. Next I have Songs of Love and War by Santa Montefiore. I don't really remember getting this, to be honest, and like, I kinda wanna read it, but I need to be realistic and I don't think I will. Same with The Dutch Wife by Ellen Keith. I do, actually I might keep this one just because it is set in the Netherlands and like that is my heritage. My mom's side of the family is Dutch. So I think this is one that I would enjoy. It's a historical fiction as well. Then I have Mapping the Bones by Jane Yolene. So this is also, or Yolen, this is also a historical fiction. It's set in 1942 in Poland, but I think I'm going to let this one go. I completely forgot about it, to be honest. Next we have At the Water's Edge by Sarah Groon. So this one, another historical fiction, an adult historical fiction, but I think that one I'm going to get rid of. I don't know. I have a hard time with these because I'm like, maybe one day I will want to read them. So I do kind of want to keep them actually. So I think I'll keep that the water's edge. I, ooh, this is so hard. The Marriage of Opposites by Alice Hoffman. Maybe I'll keep this one. I think these ones I'm going to like look at the reviews and see. And these will be maybes as well. So A Certain Age by Beatrice Williams. This is the jazz age, New York City. Like fun. The Virgin's Lover by Philippa Gregory. I can't remember if this is one of the ones that I have read of hers or not. But I... I'm going to... 
characters go. I kind of struggle with her writing. I find that it kind of bores me a lot of the time. Then Austin Land by Shannon Hale, I am going to get rid of. And then Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. I actually really love this book, so I definitely want to keep that one. Next, I have The Pillars of the Earth by Ken it. I think I have another copy of that over there. So I'm gonna have to see and if I do then obviously I don't need two copies of it. But I also have Winter of the World by Ken Follett. I don't know where my copy, maybe it's over there, but I'm not sure where my copy of Fall of Giants is, but that's a book that like I did not expect to love, but I absolutely loved it. So I do want to keep the sequel to that. Next I have The Candy Darlings by Christine Wald. I literally could tell you when I got this book and it's so weird but i got this when i was like with a friend and we were at a movie theater waiting for the movie to start i think we were seeing twilight actually and we went to the bookstore because the bookstore is right there and i picked this up because she said it was really good so this is kind of something that i'm just keeping for the memories i also have the ugly series by scott westerfeld including extras which i fell in love with this series. This is like the first series that I loved. So I do want to keep that one. Next I have some more classics. So I have The Discovery of Heaven by Harry Malish. And this is, I believe by a Dutch author. I don't entirely remember, but I will hang on to that one as well as one of my classics. I have Sula by Toni Morrison. I'm definitely going to keep that. And then I have Slaughterhouse by Kurt Vonnegut. I want to keep that one as well. So many books in here. And then I have Brave New World by Adults Huxley. I'm going to keep The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, which I did not really enjoy, but I am, I mean, I did kind of like it, but I didn't love it, but my dad loves this book and I want to keep it. And then Moby Dick by Herman Melville. I came on like talking as if I will read this book, but realistically, am I ever going to read this? No, but I will keep it. And then we have Room by Emma Donahue, which I also really liked. So I am going to keep that one. And then we are almost at the bottom here. Oh, here's my copy of <laughs> Fall of Giants. So this I'm for sure going to keep. And then we have The Fortune Teller by Daisy Goodwin. This is actually, she has quite a few historical fiction this one's going to be a maybe as well. Then I have The Muse by Jesse Burton. This is by the author of The Miniaturist, but I don't think I will really read this one. So I am going to let that one go. And then I have The Forgotten Garden by Kate Mort Morton. And this one, I don't really remember what it's about, but I think this one I'm going to let go. I don't know. Yes. Yes, I will just do it. Next, I have my box set of the Percy Jackson series. I think I also want to hang on to this one. So I know it seems like I'm keeping a lot, but also the goal, I mean, I am still getting rid of a lot. And also the goal at where we end up moving like permanently is to have more room. So when we move into where we're actually gonna stay because we're renting somewhere for a little bit first, but we'll have more room for stuff like this. So then I can actually like get a couple more bookshelves and have room to grow and have all these books that I do definitely want to hang on to and still have in my collection. I'll actually be able to like have them out. Okay, so now we are on to the last box in this, I mean the last bin, but this bin is the least full. So it's not really full. We've got, I mean, it's almost full, but it is the least full. So first I have a copy of The Complete Alice and this is like my favorite edition, but I already have a copy of it. This one just like is still in the wrapping. So that's kind of why I'm like, maybe I want to keep one that's still in the wrapping. So this one will also be a maybe. I need to think about it. Then I have The Land of Stories, The Enchantress Returns by Chris Colfer. This is the second book to that series, but I don't think I'll really ever read it. I did really enjoy the first book but I'm just trying to be realistic. City of Ashes I'm going to hang on to. Then I have Mirage by Somaya Dowd. So I haven't read this book but like purple edges and everything. It looks really good so I think I will hang on to that one to read at some point. Invisible Ghosts by Robin Schneider I'm going to get rid of. Then I have What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I actually really liked this book so that's also one that I'm going to keep. And then Maggie Steve Otter's The Scorpio Races. I've also also read this one and I liked it so I will keep that one. Then I have Sarah Dessen Dreamland. Is that the only one that I have by her in here? I don't know. I've never read a Sarah Dessen book but like obviously I have heard of her and I don't know why I've really never read one before but I don't know if I really ever will. So this one's going to be a maybe as well. Then I have Reverie by Ryan Lasala. I kept a finished copy of this one in the last unhaul that I did. Then I have more, no just one more Years of Olympus books. I don't 
don't know what I was thinking when I packed these. Like, books are everywhere. Then I have Out of the Easy by Ruta Sepetys. Ruta Sepetys is an author that I really love. Like, I love all of her stuff. And for some reason, this book, I have not read of hers. I've read every other book. So I don't know why I thought about unhauling this one either, because... I definitely want to finish with reading all of her books. Then I have Phantom Limbs by Paula Garner. I don't remember what this book is about, but I know it's supposed to be really, really good. <laughs> I think I'll put this one as a maybe because I don't remember, but I am kind of intrigued by it. Then I have Before She Ignites by Jodi Meadows. This one I'm actually going to let go. That's like a dragon book, but I don't think I'll really ever read it. City of Bones I'm going to keep. And then we have By a Charm and Curse by Jamie Questel. So this was a story that had to do with circuses and that's why I kind of wanted to keep it because like I really enjoy it, those stories typically so this one I think is going to be a maybe I'll have to look more into it then we have Goodbye Days by Jeff Zentner this also seems like a really like emotional interesting story uh, I believe it deals with a car accident so I think I am going to hang on to that one so I do have more Sarah Dessen in here is this the only other Sarah Dessen book I guess it is so along for the ride I will put my maybes and then I have Unhooked by Lisa Maxwell this is oh it's the author of The Last Magician that's why it sounds familiar to me but I haven't read The Last Magician yet even though I really want to this one is a Peter Pan retelling and Oh no, do I want to keep it? We'll put that as a maybe. Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. I've tried to read this a couple of times and it just, yeah, see, I got to page 28. It just hasn't panned out, but like for no particular reason. This is a YA contemporary and it's a girl buys a lottery ticket for this guy and then he ends up winning the lottery and I don't know. Well, I'll put that in the maybe as well because I do need more contemporary. Cat and Meg Conquer the World. I completely forgot about this book, to be honest, so I don't see the need to hang on to it. And then the final two books in here, yay! So Isle of Blood and Stone by Micah Lucher. I don't know. Mm, I'll put this one as a maybe. It seems like it could be kind of interesting to read during the summertime. And then The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. So this is a series of retellings and there's like a ton of them. And I think this is the only one that I've had, but kind of reminds me of like Once Upon a Time sort of thing. I do think that this is one that I might read eventually. I guess I don't have a finished copy of The Bells. I don't know what happened to my finished copy of The Bells. So I will hang on to that one. And then my maybes I will just set aside, kind of think about it a little bit and then go from there. But I did get rid of like quite a bit. I definitely kept more than I got rid of, but I do still feel like really happy with how this went. I did get rid of like at least a bin. And as I'm kind of being more brutal going through my maybes, then I think that I will reduce a little bit more. But thank you guys so much for watching today's unhaul. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the last unhaul that I'll be doing for a little bit, just because, I mean, now I'm done sorting through all the books, so now I just need to pack them. Yay! But I'm sorry if I got rid of your favorite book, but like I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm sure these are amazing books. It's just I kind of need to be realistic about what I am actually going to read. And also, like some books that I enjoyed, I don't need to keep every single one, I say, as I have like so many but these books will be going to a new home i'm not just going to be like throwing them out i donate them to my high school my old high school i have a library that has been built there and i fill it with all the books that i have so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to still do that once i move but for now i'm just going to bring them like before i even leave so that is going to be all and thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will see you in the next one soon bye